Hey guys, it's Paul here. I want to do a quick, quick update video on um, my YouTube earnings and the next possible six months plan. Um, I've just been checking out my, I did this video in February, uh, 1st of March. So what's that now? It's it's now June 23rd. So this will be up to June. So uh, March, April, May, June, this four months. So where was I? Four months ago, I was at 55,000 views, pretty much on the nose. 91 subscribers, uh, monthly revenue on YouTube, $14. Um, and I'd only just turned monetization on for a week or so then, so maybe a little bit, so let's say 25, 30, let's double it, um, $26. So I did a video then, I'll put them in a playlist so you can go through and see what I say, and see how I change and see what, I, um, what my theory is as I go through. Um, so, 55,000 views and 90 subscribers. Where I am today on June the 22nd or 3rd, I don't know, I just said, um, is I'm at, if that was 55, I am, holy, Chrome's playing fast again. I'm at 112,000 views. So, in the last four months, I've doubled my views. I've gone from 91 subscribers to 278. So, that's three times more in it. Um, was that two times more? 91, 180, 270. Yeah, I don't know, is that three or is that three times more or two times more? Either way, I've got obviously I've built, I'm building, I'm building. Um, my uh, monthly revenue has gone from $26 a month to 117. So, um, everything's everything's compounding and everything's getting bigger. Um, I'm at, I still don't know where you see how many live videos you've got because see how it says 248 here. I think it was 197 before. So I've done 50 videos in a month, in four months. Um, but um, not all of them are live. Sometimes I do private videos for people to do tutorials for videos. So as you see, if you look at my videos, a lot of them are still pretty new. 26 views, 126, 55. 12.26 on that one, so that one's kind of hit, 82, 7.46, nothing major, nothing, no no magical videos that have have just, you know, popped out and, and made me a fortune in money or made me, or made it understand why, where these 55,000 views have come from in the last four months. There's generally four or five videos that are doing well, out of 240, um, but, I know that as I keep putting them out, previous videos, which I think are probably good videos, will start to hit, hit as well. So you get a thousand subscribers, they'll watch this video, and then you'll go, oh, what's this guy up to? This guy's telling us everything he's doing. You know, let's go and check his channel out. Let's go and check his videos. I, you know, this Infusionsoft one here, 100 views, it's probably a good video, but Infusionsoft's $300 a month to use. So it's, you know, it's not gonna get as many views as, a Trello or a, a Zoho or something that's free to use. It's not going to get as many searches, is it? So what I'm saying is it's took four months and it's it's three times bigger. So it's gone from 26 to 113, did I say? Um, it's gone from 90 subscribers to 270. Um, 117, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know what watch time is. I probably could, I could probably filter down. You know, the... Lifetime revenue is up to three hundred dollars, and you can see what you'll see here is I keep turning the monetization off and on. So my theory with YouTube is, do I get better engagement with no advert on the front of the video? You know, for the money, the money's great, but from what I'm going to show you what other stuff I do in a bit, but from what the other stuff it isn't life-changing for me to put that advert so I'm trying to work out um, I'm trying to work out if if it feels right to have that so you'll see these dips here so these blank bits these blank bits so this was probably that $13 then right you know I'll put something in and then I'll turn it off for a bit and then you know you, you can see in the last what's this um, April April to June it's really starting to spike up. So it's now making sense. It also means that I don't have to ask you guys for anything uh, to pay me. So I can probably do free training elsewhere on my site, which I'll show you. 
because I'm making the revenue from um, YouTube adverts. So I'm, I'm, I'm always talking about YouTube monetization, but as you can see, it is starting to pay pay off me keep putting these videos out. And that's what you should do. You should really test and see where you are. So, you know, this video is a good reminder for me as much, you know, I'm glad that you're here watching it. But um, so I'm looking at, um, what I'm noticing is I do, um, platform tutorials so you know like you know a website tutorial so like 99 designs I've done a tutorial on their website and how to use it eight views uh, Vimeo how to use it Evernote so when I do these beginner introductions they generally get how to use slack 3,000 views um, they get more um, views but not a great deal of content i mean look at this one's three thousand views six people have liked it and eight people have disliked it um so youtube are going to be flagging that as you know, what's this guy doing um but i mean i'm not gonna lose any sleep over that maybe it is a rubbish video i mean slack's a communication tool that it's pretty hard to do a video where you communicate with yourself um but what i do notice now is when i fix a problem for people where is it um well, if you can find if you can find something where you fix a problem, so if there's golf pros out there and you fix a slice, or if there's um, yoga instructors and you tell people how to fix the downward dog or whatever, whatever it is, um, how to set up is this one? No, no, it's near though. It's near. Uh, how to set here? Look, so this one that says how to set up YouTube, get a Twitter icon. This has had a 1,200 views, 104 likes, only one dislike, and 134 comments. Let's say 70, because I reply to most people. So, um, being able to do a video where it fixes a problem is where you get the engagement, and I'm seeing that. So, you know, this one, look at the one above. 20,000 views is a tutorial, 36 comments. The one below, 1,200 views, 134 comments right so when you fix an issue people people will engage with you when you introduce them something they will like and view it they may like it but they'll view um, so sometimes no engagement isn't a sign you've done a bad video it's just it is an introduction to Zoho now go use it um, so where am I at with everything else? When I go now, I since February I relaunched my old company with Blue Jeans Media, and when I went over to, um, I went back to their page. So, so um, Paul Nicholson's got 112,000 views. Now, when I went back to Blue Jeans Media. Uh, and went to their channel. They were on like eighty thousand views from videos I've done ages ago. So I've re I've re-energized Blue Jeans Media for um, training and a social media dashboard. So that's where I'm going to host all my training is on Blue Jeans Media. It's a it, I named that company after my mum passed away. She passed away in two thousand six from a brain tumor. Um, it's, her name's Jean, so I, you know, and she was a headmistress of a school, and she was into it, learning and, and you know, education and stuff. So Blue Jeans Media, I'm going to put back as an educational website to help people with their online businesses, with their businesses in general. So as you'll see, that's on hundred thousand views, um, and the website is, is has got a social dashboard. It's got a training section. So this is a part where. Um, if there's a free social media dashboard, I'm not sure if I'm logged in or not, where you can sign up for free, saves you hours on um, uh, posting, scheduling and posting your social media, you know, sending uh, recurring posts out, you do it all one time, it's really cool. Um, and that's, a, that's a, a white label platform called Retortal, which I'm using that on. So there's a video I've got on that as well. So if you if you search Paul Nicholson Retortal, you'll see that, that that creates that. The training aspect of Blue Jeans Media, there's 54-ish training sessions. I don't know why I keep saying ish, there's 54 training. Um, there's training um, courses on there at the minute. Not all by me, but I am gonna start doing training clubs. 
I am going to start doing training courses where um, what I'm doing, what I'm doing the videos, now I'm doing the training. So I do plan to do um, stuff like that. So getting back time, it's a free to get free to get on training course. You basically go to register and you register and you're in and you can do them training. It's and they're all free. Uh, so that's another aspect in um, what else I'm doing is is so basically the things like the YouTube and the Blue Jeans Media website and the Happy Me website. So I've got three websites that I run: Blue Jeans Media, Happy Me dot com, it's Happy Dash Me dot com. Uh, so my company is Happy Me Limited, um, and that, this HappyMe.com is just um, motivational videos. Really, I've taken from um, YouTube, which I share from YouTube, um, and I, you know I've got a plan for Happy Me. I want to do some training on there. I want to help people, you know, set goals, you know, move towards their potential, move towards. Um, closing the gap between their potential and their results and, and kicking them off again. A lot of people like me, when they get to 40, um, stagnating, you know, you plateau, you're just doing your, you're doing your thing, you're doing all right, but you're not really kicking on. So, you know, happy me is the, um, the website I want to get people kicking on and getting back on the horse, if, if you know, so to speak. Then there's my blog, paulnicholson.com. And that is, you know, my meanderings. I want this to be, you know, my... I do a lot of golfing blogs. I relate a lot to golf. Golf's a, a big thing on self-awareness in golf. And, and how golf teaches me to be self-aware. And the things it's, you know, you know, like... Um, I don't know. The, the, basically, the blog posts I do are golf-related. But, in, you know, that's a quite a long one, isn't it? Um and I share my YouTube videos on there as well. So I've got, that's the three websites that I currently also work on. So I work on free website, I've got my YouTube and I've got my uh, Blue Jeans Media channels. Obviously I do Facebook and Twitter and you know, I don't do Instagram, I'm on Instagram but I don't really do it. I'm on Snapchat, I don't really do it, but I don't really do it, I don't do it at all. I'm, I'm on there but um, I'm on LinkedIn but I'm just pushing stuff, you know. I'm that, I'm that annoying person who's always posting stuff um, to it without really engaging anywhere. So I need to work out um, how to get more engaging, how to be better on these platforms, and then I'll share that as well. So I'm, I'm um, those things are really when you know if you go to work. I've got paying jobs clients, customers that pay me to do specific things. Um, and then I've got the YouTube stuff and the, the websites and stuff like that. So they are, you know, work full time on your job and part time on your dream until your dream work, which will be all this stuff I'm doing to help people get bigger and better at everything they do. When I get that to being more full time and then the paid client work part time, um, then, then I'll be laughing, right? So at the moment, I've got it in a good situation where I've got some good paying clients where they generally need me for the first couple of weeks of the month. And I do a lot of work for them in the first couple of weeks that then pays for the rest of the month for me to be able to concentrate on paulnicholson.com, on happyme.com, on um, bluejeansmedia.com. So... I'm at the moment full time on my job, well, full time, I work for myself, whatever you want to call it, part time on trying to build something that's long term. You know, this, all this stuff now that I'm doing, Blue Jeans Media, Paul Nicholson, Happy Me, I want them to be around for the next 50 years, 100 years. You know, I want them to be able to keep growing. So, this is sort of a legacy project, isn't it? The other stuff. Why I like working for other people, it's their companies, it's not my company. I'm I'm helping them out, I'm you know, delivering them profits, but that's their companies and I'm 
I'll always be available to them, but I want to also at the side build something that's longer term. So I will keep building the videos, I'll keep grinding away, adding the videos, you know, 31 views in the last hour, 2,000 views in the last 48 hours. You know, I wanna keep growing them figures, finding what people want, finding what people like, and keep pushing forward, isn't it? That's all you can do. That's all anybody can do is every day get a little bit better, a little bit better. You know, I'm I'm keeping my eye on on um, here. Look, Dotto Tech. So some would say this guy's a competitor of mine, but he's not. He's just doing really well. You know, he's doing videos. He's got a cool um, thumbnails. He's got huge figures. But I'm not competing against him. You know, I'm happy that he's out there in the network, proving that these figures are available. I think. All I have to do is keep getting a little bit better every day. Keep getting a little bit better. Keep trying to work out what you guys want. Keep trying to see where I should put my energy to get better results, to create better value. And you know, so I'm 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 awesome. I'm you know I'll support this guy all the way, um, Steve Dotto, um, and anybody else who's doing the same as me. Because you can see that I'm doing all sorts of things. I'm not doing one thing. Um, so. My goal, I don't know when I'll do another one of these videos, whether I'll start doing one a month just to keep you guys, you know, a little bit more in the loop. The people that, you know, you know, I want to be an overnight success at some point, but I also want to prove that I've done this for five or six years, not YouTube, but, you know, the WordPress and the blogging and the, you know, I've been, um, I've been trying slowly, slowly gathering pace with my expertise and my information to be able to share it. You know, I'm doing a lot of learning at the minute. I'm doing five, six hours a day learning, which, which you know, I listen to audio books while I'm working. So I'm not wasting time as much on listening to music or TV. I'm, I'm, um, I'm doing a lot of learning and stuff like that. So basically, I'll keep you informed. I hope this is, you know, I don't think at the moment this was much value to you, but I think if you see me in three years time and come and watch this June 27 video, 2017, um, then you're gonna see the where I was, where did he start? What was he doing? What did he do next? You know, and I'll, I'll keep trying to keep you in the loop. So, dragged on a bit longer than I thought that was gonna, but I, you know, as I get bigger and better, then these videos are gonna have to get longer because I've got more things going on. So have a great day, leave a comment. Um, let me tell, tell me what you're up to. Tell me, you know, why, what motivation are you looking to get to becoming an influencer? I think in the next 10 or 15 years, everybody wants to be an influencer. But we're gonna have to put the work in first though, aren't we? We're gonna have to become expert in something before you can influence people. You have to have the knowledge before you can share it. So tell me what you're an expert in, tell me what you're gonna share, tell me what you're gonna do. Um, have a great week. Go get them.